G'day everyone, welcome back to Nerdlings Asylum. My name is Tom and today we are finally doing the third and final part of the Imposter Batman. So if you've been watching this channel for a little while, when we first started two years ago, I decided to do a custom Batman figure from Jack Pacific uh, right around the time the Ben Affleck's Batman was getting all of the merchandise. Now I got the Batman figure and I tweaked him around a little bit. Just a little bit. The story that I made up behind this was the Joker broke into the Batcave redesigned the suit to make it more jokery and then went and terrorized the town as a joker batman kind of thing which made for a cool story then after doing that i got a light from kmart and a base from bunnings slapped the two together got some glue dry at the moment so i can't actually show you but that became a thing now i need to finish it all off so it's only been two years of this stuff sitting around in the garage, but now we are finally going to finish off this gigantic diorama. Like, this thing is huge. I'm not going to lie. Probably a little bit too big, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, let's finally get around to finishing off the Joker Batman diorama. So to kick everything all off, we're just going to spray paint some back onto the some black onto the base and then go over the top of that with this granite effect which looks amazing it's got like little bits and pieces in the paint which could probably clog it up very easily but the effect is absolutely amazing now while that dries out in the sun because we actually had a bit of sun come into our life which is a little bit odd um, it was onto the background now this is just different shades of gray from like near black and then just adding in bits of white and moving further down now there's so many different techniques and stuff that went into this uh, to try and get sort of a cloudy effect stormy cloudy sort of I don't know what I was going for but I just wanted to add something to it now I didn't go all the way down to the bottom because I'm gonna do a silhouette of a skyline that Bon is drawing on now uh, I could have done it but it would have looked really bad. So instead, I decided to let someone else do it for me and then I would paint it. And it, it turned out much better doing it this way rather than me doing it. Because I gave it a test and it did not look good. So once this is all said and done, it was time to go over everything with flat black paint. Just a matte black here. And this took, uh, probably took best part of an hour, maybe a bit longer, because I am not a painter, so I, li I like painting, it's fun, but it's not my forte, so it took a little bit longer than it would probably take most people, because I was going very slow around the edges and everything to try and get somewhat straight lines. Now, looking very closely at it, not every line is super straight, but it, it's good. I'm, I'm happy with it. The only problem I had was quite often I would paint further along, as you can see down the bottom there, and then I would rest my hand in wet paint because I am a smart, intelligent individual. So pro tip for me, don't do that again next time. Yeah. So basically this is just a uh, time lapse of painting. This entire video is mainly a time lapse of painting. So I hope you enjoy watching paint dry. Now once this is all said and done, 
it's time to move on to the second piece and just basically do it all over again but don't worry you don't have to sit through watching me paint the second piece because it's exactly the same as the first so while I was doing this Bond was cutting up a whole bunch of squares that were used for the lights in the buildings we were going I was originally going to be painting them on and then going around with the black uh, because yellow is notoriously bad paint and it looked bad on top of the black and it would have taken too long to paint around the windows so we just went with paper instead and I think it turned out pretty darn good so here I am just gluing everything down all of these tiny little pieces of paper so the, the effect that it got, it's, it's very, it, it does remind me of a comic book. So, and that's kind of what I was going for. This whole thing is uh, kind of going for that comic book aesthetic. So this took, didn't take too long to get this all glued down, but the, it, it does look quite nice. But it's done! Oh, Batsy is finished. Joker, Batman, imposter. Joker stealing bat suit is done. I, I, I'm honestly, I think it's turned out pretty decently. Uh, when I did the first figure, just this bit, I had absolutely no idea how I was going to display it or do anything. Um, it is quite large, as you can see. But the light works. It doesn't project the, the J, um, which is annoying, but it's there. Looks kind of cool. It works as a light. A um, couple of things. The hot glue didn't stick. I could all. But that's okay, because he can just chill there and hang out. And I'm okay with that, because it's just a display piece, it's not like for playing or anything. But the um, that granite texture is amazing from Rust-Oleum. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's come out alright. So let me know down in the comments what you think of it. I'm waiting, now that DC Fandom has happened and we've got all these movies on the way, hopefully Jack Pacific, which I... They made this figure here, hopefully they're going to bring out some more updated figures that I can grab and go to town on like I did this guy. So, yeah. There we go. But that one, if you follow us over on Instagram and Twitter, you'll see... This has basically just been put together in the last couple of days. So, didn't take too long. But if you don't follow us over Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything's all linked down in the description anyway. So. Go hit us up there. Let us know what else you want to see. If there's any any figurines like this that you want to see customised or put into some kind of a diorama or whatever, let us know. And if we can make it happen, we'll do it. So, there you go. Thank you for watching. It's only taken two years, but thank you. If you haven't seen the other two episodes, they're linked to there. They're over there. Go check them out. Soya!